The Media Project is an equipment d'excellence. It's a French funded project which gathers 17 partners. It uh, will, uh, for the first time, build a large scale instrument using quantum technologies to observe gravitational waves. They are distortion of space time created by very large celestial objects like black holes spinning together. We will build a 250 meter long optical cavity. In this cavity, we will launch at three different positions, atoms, to engineer an atom interferometer that will be extremely sensitive to tiny changes of space-time. The main partners responsible for the construction of the equipment will be the CIRT in Paris for the atom source, the Artemis Laboratory in Nice for the cavity optics and their suspension, and the LSBB for what concerns the infrastructure and also the geophysical equipment. LP2N is in charge for coordination, design and also commissioning of the equipment. We realized a first prototype of the antenna that uses a single atom source and a one meter long optical cavity. Nuquance is in charge of developing the laser system that will be used to prepare the atomic samples inside the MIGA instrument. So for this purpose, we have developed very tight interactions with the Equipex team The, the added value of our company is to develop an industrial solution that offers the same level of performances but with industrial standards in terms of robustness and reliability so that the MIGA instrument can be operated on a daily basis for a very long period of time over several years. Here in Paris at the CIRT Laboratory, We are experts in atomic interferometry. So this expertise requires many tools or many skills in optics, mechanics, electronics. And we will realize three atomic interferometers that will be the core of the MIGA instrument installed in Rustrel. So the principle of the atomic interferometer is first to cool or slow down atoms using lasers. The atom cloud, about 1 million atoms, is launched upwards. The atoms arrive in the interferometer region, where each atom is split in two parts that follow two different trajectories. And then at the end, the atoms fall down and they are detected by collecting the light emitted when we shine lasers on the atom. One of the unique features about the Virgo gravitational wave detector is its vibration isolation system. We've taken those designs and rescaled them for MEGA to operate at lower frequencies, hundreds of millihertz up to 10 hertz. This will be very important for isolating MEGA from seismic noise, for example. One of the areas of expertise that we bring is in, in noise studies, and we've, we've gained this experience with Virgo, and we've taken this in mind when we've designed the vibration isolation systems for MEGA. The LSBB has been created in 1997 after the reconversion of the French nuclear military sites. We are in a natural park in galleries that are free from any industrial activity to test new instruments that require low background noise to test the, the most sensitivity they can achieve. We are also developing other science here like seismology, like hydrogeology, that may allow uh, to control the gravity variation uh, of the environment around the future instrument. Our laboratory in Strasbourg, so IPGS, will bring some expertise in the analysis of time-varying gravity, which is recorded with the supporting gravimeter. The superlanting gravimeter will be complementary to the MIGA antenna. Thanks to this precision and long-term stability, we can study different kinds of uh, geophysical phenomena, very small signal coming from the deep earth to very long period phenomena like tectonics. MIGA will be a new view into the universe looking with gravitational waves at lower frequencies and will be allowing us to observe these previously invisible objects, these very massive binary black hole systems.